Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Today's July uh, 6. I think it's 6. Um, yeah, today I, I was I wasn't gonna do this video real quick. I was gonna uh, I was getting this uh, uh, man really. I was getting a video ready for um, another video on Turner Wax uh, products on their soap and that, and I was cleaning the wheels first to get it ready before I wash the car. And it's the first time I'm using the the PS brake buster right here on the charger and man and you can really see how clean the wheels came I already did the passenger side and I figured you know what why have it out why not show it show you guys um, how clean it got it got the uh, wheels I mean I scrubbed this uh, with other wheel cleaners like the Loblo from Camel guys um, I mean I do like it it's not real strong it's almost like kind of a soap it's not gonna really really cut some heavy dirt on your wheels um, it's good for just like a quick washing if you really maintain your wheels and um, And I mainly just use soap. I really haven't really used many wheel cleaners and And so once I tried this out the first time and I use it on this I was like wow how clean they came So this is a quick video on this and I'll show you how dirty this wheel is and then we'll clean it And then I'll show you uh, the other side. Well, I'll show you the other side before I clean the, the, the driver's side wheel But check it out. Uh, hopefully you guys can see Hopefully it's not too shaky. You guys can really see in there. Now see how dark it is though. The wheel, if you want to call it, maybe what the, the lip of the wheel or something like that. Um, if there's a special saying, let me know. Now let's go take a walk over to the driver passenger side. That's already clean. The wheels are still wet, but now look at the difference. Look at that. It's almost like a gray. Ain't that crazy? I mean, I remember it when I first got it, it wasn't, you know, painted completely. But you think all that money you spend, they paint your wheels up. You guys see how clean it is? Uh, that's the spot right there, but you can see your spots. Because they're so dirty, I'm going to have to probably go over this a couple spots. So let me, we'll go, let's go wash this one wheel up. I see a couple spots I'll touch up on there, which is normal. You're going to miss some spots. But I wanted to show you guys real fast. There we go. So basically, I like to get them wet a little bit. Another thing too, you're not going to want to clean your wheels and uh, calipers and rotors after driving them cool off for a while and then wash them up. I like to wet it up. I'm going to do the wheels first and do the tires. It's kind of warm off and stuff's drying up pretty quick. It's nice too, shaking it up. It's got a rust inhibitor on it. Hit the rotors a little bit, hit the calipers. Get in there real good. I need to try it in that foam or and let it go and start doing its magic. Yeah, I was uh, surprised how well those came clean. Hopefully you guys seen that. And then get in here with this. And I'll have like a link below where you can purchase this if you want. A gallon's only like $20. You can get it at Amazon or Detailed Image. If you use uh, Detailed Image link, you can, I'll have the, a code in the description. You'll get 10% off. Or you use the link for the Amazon to purchase anything. It kind of helps the channel out a little bit. It's up to you. I'm not forcing you guys to buy it. That's just up to you guys. I'll put it down there just in case if you want to order something. And I would appreciate, yeah, if you do use the links, I appreciate it. But you can see how it's cleaning. Look at that, that wheel up already. Hopefully you guys can see that real good. i sorry, I'm going to move this camera around. I need my camera guy back. <laughs> but yeah, that gets it pretty clean. And you can use a designated wash mitt and get in there. And really get in there if you can. A lot of times it's hard. You can get in here a little bit. Try to get in there the best you can. I mean, the best way to do it is take these off. I'm going to take these off. Maybe twice a year. Really scrub them. This 
wheel uh, works pretty good. It's soft too. It's like a Microsoft uh, Michael Fiber towel. I always say Microsoft. I don't know why. I couldn't. Sh I caught myself in a couple videos. <laughs> I don't get it. Michael Fiber. It's almost like a Michael Fiber towel. Let me get in there a little bit. Get that caliper in there. This works pretty good because you can get in here. Here. And you can use uh, those detail brushes if you like. Get lug nuts. So that's all washed up. And you can do the tires. And the tires are driving pretty quick, so you gotta work pretty fast. Hit in there a little bit. Sit a second. Let it start working. I think it's gonna rain. I got some clouds coming. Might not get this video in for the washing. I have to put it back in the garage. Man, it cleaned pretty good. Look at that. Dry real quick and then we'll check it out. Okay, washed them up with the brake buster. There you go. There's still the wheel's still a little wet. It started raining on me. That rain was coming down. You see how clean the wheels got inside the rim or whatever you want to call it, the lip. Up in there. Good clean that got. Hopefully you can see that. Now you can you know, the rollers are pretty clean. They're they're got a little bit of traces of um you know that rust on there, but not too bad. You know, but a uh, little bit more on the bottom where you know it's coming off. But best thing to do is probably take the wheels off and then clean them up. We'll go look at the other side. Man, I was trying to make a YouTube video and the rain came. Well, at least now I got some clouds. I can finish up uh finish it up. You can see how when it rained, it it uh, got a little bit rusty. But it's not bad. You drive it, it's coming off anyway. But look how clean the board got or whatever inside the wheels got. That looks good. It's a little wet from it going. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'll have the link below for this product and other products. If you want to try it out, it's up to you. Uh, it's Right now, this is my favorite wheel cleaner for sure. I mean, it's this stuff works great. Cleans your tires and your wheels. Give us a little bit of protection on it. And uh, works great um, and you can't beat it for a gallon for $20 it's not too bad um, yeah can't beat that at all Got some. Right there's my my number one fans right here but uh, yeah that's about it make a quick video on uh, the brake buster again and show some how clean it well got man you know made the wheels look new again um, it's crazy to see how they don't paint them so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. So you guys have a great day. I'm going to do a video on um, some Turtle Wax products. Where are they anyway? Hang on. Pretty much I'm going to be doing a video on Turtle Wax, Canuba Wash and Wax, and a Wax and Dry. Oh, well, we get to 
two waxes. It probably has a little bit in it, but I want to do a, a video on products you can buy at the store right here. The local store. Oops. Yeah, Myers had buy one, buy one, and then get 50% off on another product. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, be the next video if you like to watch that. Watch it after this one. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, you guys have a great day. You gonna watch it?